I've decided to make more of an effort to meet people by booking into a hotel to take part in a communications conference. That's because I did some research and I found out that at any one time, 80% of the population are in hotels having conferences. I suppose it's because conferences are splendid ways of starting up friendships with people and from there going on never to see them ever again, which is great. The conference is looking at whether we've got so used to doing all our communicating through handheld gadgets that scenes like this will become more common. Yeah, of course, the, the, the latest thing now is these WAP things, isn't it? The WAP oh, yeah. Things. Um, small, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Tiny. Yeah, tiny. Tiny. Yeah. I mean, we're absolutely obsessed with miniaturisation. Absolutely. Yeah. And we'll end up eating miniaturised ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they'll come up with a tiny Titanic. Yeah. And people will want to go on it. They'll pay a thousand quid a ticket <laughs> to get a seat on board a ship that's two inches long. Right. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and they'll get a hundred people on it. And they'll still claim it's unsinkable. And then, once we get bored with making things really small, we want to make things enormous. And James Bond equipment will be huge. Yeah. And all his films will feature a huge gadget. So he's, he'll have laptops the size of a goat or uh, sugar cubes you can sit on. All that day, I enjoyed knowing that for once I could have a decent conversation with people who were happy to talk to me. In about two years' time, we'll have smart mirrors that can predict your reflection and swimming lanes you can fold up and put in your briefcase for the journey home. They're planning to issue fax paper that cries you know, for bad news. It's going to be fantastic. Or fitness buns, big cream cakes that make you thin. Though I enjoyed our chat, I had a sneaking suspicion that the reason we don't talk to people is because we're worried that if we do, we'll sound like my barber. Yeah, because there's, there's saying the internet is fantastic, but they always make these exaggerated claims about anything that comes along. Because mm. they, they made exaggerated claims about the piano when it took over from the harpsichord. Yep. And they said that right. with the piano you could get better tunes and a nice softer sound mm -hmm. and online banking facilities. Mm -hmm. But in the end, look what happened. We just used the piano as, a, as an outlet for gambling and pornography. Mm.